Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. Thank you for clicking on my video. For those of you returning, thank you so much. For those of you meeting me for the first time, it's so nice to meet you. <laughs> and thank you so much for being here. So, just a little intro. I go by Luna Neat. My name is Jillian, and I am creating these videos, what I perceive as sessions or what I would call sessions as a tool for self-reflection, as a tool for directing your own thoughts, seeing how you feel perhaps about something. Because in my personal journey, although yes, there's lots of different ways that lessons come about, but it's that self-reflection, it's that contemplation, it's that deep thought, it's that honest review and then taking what I kind of work on within myself through journaling, meditation, um, stuff that I do like dream work, energy work, whatever it might be, uh, therapy <laughs> as well, and uh, conversations with friends, right? All, all different uh, ways that lessons can come about, but it's that reflection, that honest reflection and review that I then take into the world, right? That will hopefully uh, you know, make me <laughs> a better person, right? More patient, more empathetic, more confident, more sure of myself, knowing myself, knowing who I am, following that path because I'm sure of my purpose and my wants and my desires and my boundaries, etc. So thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to serve in this way because it's just such an honor and I, you know, it sounds a little corny, right? But I really feel deep in my heart and soul that this is part of my purpose. I see myself as, you know, a friendly face, a helping hand, a cheerleader on your journey, right? So whatever we're talking about here, and if you're open to the concept of energy work, I am a Reiki master teacher. I um, offer my classes online through Teachable if you're interested. I have Patreon if you'd like to support the channel as well. So I am leaning into the energetic, a little woo-woo here, of course. But even if you don't believe in energy work by proxy and consider this as a energy work, remote energy work session, I hope that you can still find some use of this through the conversation and the self-reflection. So if you're open to the concept of energy work by proxy, all you have to do is intend to allow this to support you. Allow yourself to receive the benevolent intentions. A disclaimer here, I work always in the light, let's say, you know, always in the good. My intentions are always benevolent and I always want to honor your free will, free will, excuse me, never encroach upon you or push my beliefs on you in any way. I'm just here sharing some things, right? So, the theme for today is something that has been in my world, you know, very much recently. I've gone through a lot of really profound change and growth and experiences and downs and ups. <laughs> and I'm in a place now where one of the biggest things, one of the biggest themes, excuse me, is focus. I have um, studied a bit on setting goals. I had a very chaotic year, so my goals were not my priority. My healing, my personal healing, health, mental health was my priority. And now I'm finally in a place where I feel like I can bring myself back to, uh, to share more, really, to show up more, to be more present here for, for others. And, you know, and in my real world life as well, of course, in my relationships. And I'm ready, of course, too now to focus on my own goals. And to do that, I had to go back to creating my own goals. So I actually listened to like a Huberman podcast on goals and took the approach of the, you know, defining what your goal is and focusing on that and giving yourself a time frame to focus on that. So that's where I'm at. All great, right? But then... I think of other things I want to do. I start playing, oh, but I could, and I want to do this and I want to do that because I get excited. I'm an excitable person. <laughs> and I start thinking things and I have so many wishes and so many desires and so many things that I want to achieve or create. And I have limited time or at least time works in a linear fashion in this life experience, right? So I really want to hone my primary resource 
time and focus on this goal that I have. <laughs> so I feel like that's something that a lot of people can relate to. At the time that I'm creating this, we're not yet in Capricorn season, but it's coming up. And I just thought that this would be a nice theme for us to kind of work through today. Uh, in addition to setting goals with a written approach, like I'm writing out my goal, I'm giving myself a bit of a timeline, you know, what I'm going to work on, how many hours a week or how much time in a day. And I'm setting those, um, I don't want to call them requirements, but that outline for myself to work off of. I also have to, I found, make sure that I'm taking out habits that lead me astray, that that distract me and take me off of that focus. So my primary focuses should be, you know, my health, my family, my relationships, and my goal, and not really any of the other things that I want to do right now, as hard as that is. So a helpful um, tool for that for me is journaling, is focusing, is meditating. Meditation is a huge one. So I wanted to share with you really quickly our um, sponsor for this video before we get into it. It's such a perfect unison synergy complementary of this theme specifically because what I need to remove or be very mindful of is the media that I'm consuming. I don't typically consume harmful media but I do get distracted by junk <laughs> and I want to focus on myself, my goal, my family and all the things to support myself. That's really what I need to do. And having meditation tools for me is so very helpful. No matter where you're doing it, if you're just doing it on your own, but personally a guided meditation and something that sort of bridges the media gap between the impulse to you know, go on my phone, let's say, but to do that in a way where I'm actually doing something beneficial for myself and in alignment with this theme that I'm working with here, this theme of focus. So Aura, as a wellness and meditation app, has been a tremendously helpful tool as I'm focusing on uh, these themes for myself. I've worked with Aura before in the past as well. I truly love this app and utilize it very often. But if you've never heard of Aura, they are essentially like a all-in-one, very customizable, very um, diverse meditation app with some other things as well as in it's not just audio. They do offer features like um, live streams and things that I really love watching. I love people watching people on live talking about different beneficial stuff or doing guided meditations. I find it so helpful. There is a vast diversity of different uh, categories, um, uh, meditations, themes that you can work with through Aura. I love how customizable it is as in you can change the background sound, have like music or no music or different sounds if you want or white noise sort of frequencies. Just the variety and personalization in Aura is like none in any app I've ever seen before. There are hundreds of creators, coaches, therapists, storytellers on Aura creating really wonderful content. I enjoy it so much. Personally, the themes that I'm working with in terms of my aura consumption, <laughs> which I love to do every morning, are things like goal setting, achieving your goals, focus, and things, you know, that obviously would support what I'm working on right now. Aura is such a robust app something I've never seen before in the amount of content that they have from such a wide variety of creators. I genuinely love it so much. I use it almost every morning and I think that you'll really love it too. The first 500 people to download Aura using the link below in my video description will get a free trial, a free week trial, as well as 25% off of the complete subscription. Thank you so very much to Aura for partnering with me on this video. And now let's get back into our session. So meditation truly is such a ben beneficial tool for focus. If you're wishing to, um, determined to, if you're setting a goal, if you're looking to truly achieve something, to truly make that like paradigm shift through these goal settings. And don't get me wrong, I think a lot can happen without work, you know what I mean? Like things can happen through um, a more pulled back approach, but 
for me personally, I've been pulled back. I know it's time for me to really like get my hands and stuff, get my body and stuff, like physically show up again with my resources, my time, my energy, and put something into something that I really love and something that I'm simply just passionate about. I love it and I'm passionate about it. It's time for me to, you know, get back into it, so to speak, right? So um, that's what this is about. It's about cultivating that focus, not allowing ourselves to be distracted even by ourselves <laughs> maybe especially by ourselves and work toward a goal if you are looking to the process of setting setting a goal my process has been to define the goal and this is all stuff that i wrote down like writing it really makes a big difference for me write down your goal write down your why why do you want this how does it fulfill you how will it serve and support others what benefit does this have and really let yourself feel it and then give yourself a time frame i'm giving myself three months to focus on this specific goal before i let myself move on to something else or gauge where i'm at it's not to say i won't keep working on it but i really want to intentionally and exclusively focus on these goals that i have or this primary focus right now and then write up like how many hours a day will you work on it or what is the routine that you're going to develop so this is all about supporting that specifically all right so i do have a candle for our little candle holder see <laughs> We're going to set our intention together. For the foil people. Do a little. I know not everybody does it, but for those that do. On behalf of the highest and greatest good, imperfect comforts, let me just put this down. <laughs> Perfect alignment. Our intention, of course, is working in benevolence, <laughs> but we're setting this focus on our focus, on our goal, removing distractions, clearing distractions. Clearing the fog, clearing the sticky, thick, um, slow energy that has kept us from achieving these goals in the past, potentially, right? Or clearing, as in, you know, similar to my case, clearing the residual dust of all the tower that has fallen and the process now of rebuilding, in a sense, or focusing more on this goal that I have. We want to clear all that blocks, all that is malicious, all that is in any way inhibiting this focus that we have, whether that is physical, whether that is resource-based, whether that is time-based, whether that is mental, whether that is um, emotional as well, or distraction, we want to let it go and enhance our focus and really define and set that tra trajectory for ourselves. Sorry, I have a little ash in my nail right now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Right? If you have your own intention, if you know your goal, if you know it, you're writing it, or it's written, or you're about to write it, send it in. Send it into the flame, the gateway. The light within you, your consciousness, send it into your consciousness. <laughs> Highlight it in your consciousness. Right. I've been 
using this spray a lot lately. It's the Desert Rain by the Shemsia. And we're using this as a start to the clearing here. So I'm going to spray this all around you. I'm doing five, not exactly for chaos, but for change. Any thought patterns, any like thoughts that move you into habits that prohibit this forward movement.
ego, the healthy ego that draws energy to it and clear any blockage preventing that. So moving through. All around you, I'm really focusing on the lower chakra points here, the root, sacral, and solar plexi. Clearing, clearing, clearing. And also energizing as well. That's part of a double feature. And we want you to sense this. We want you to feel it. You might notice tummy gurgles or feelings in your lower abdominal area or lower or limbs. Just channeling through. <laughs> Sometimes people ask if this is what a Reiki session is like in person, and I would definitely say this is adapted style-wise, but the intentions are there. the root with respect of course <laughs> just really like feeling the smoke move up your roots like a chimney like a furnace so the heat the warmth the energy ready for you to direct towards your universe your plans your world your creations your achievements your goals This is a very soft yellow color. It's difficult to see because I do have a blue light right here. But it's a very soft yellow color. These little pots. So we're going to be tapping this lapidium over you, so this is an, um, I don't think it's an herb, a plant, with attributes to Mars and Saturn, and Saturn is our goals, or is tied to at least our goals, our achievements, our lessons, our determination, and we really need that determination here. Mars, of course, is like energy, it's like, I'm going for it. <laughs> This would be perfect. And I also like the yellow color for, um, let's see if I can block the blue light. <laughs> the yellow color to work with the mental field as well. So we're calling in a few elements here, a few pieces of correspondence with this really cool um, plant, herb. I'm not exactly sure.
arms and legs are just like full body meridians. even feel like looser in your body. I have this gorgeous little uh, optical calcite, but it's a golden one. I've used this in many videos before. I truly love it. I use it on myself, too. <laughs> so we share. But want to focus on your eyes. Optical calcite, I love for working with vision from um, like envisioning something, focusing on something, uh, attuning your vision, you know? So I want to focus on that. So if you're able to focus on your goal here, see yourself achieving it. If you haven't yet defined the goal, if you haven't written it out yet, just see how you want to feel or how you want to experience yourself as best as you can. And I'm going to be channeling through, channeling the whole video through my voice, through the colors, through the intentions, of course, but again, just letting you know, channeling through and focusing on the eyes. First your left eye here, channeling through, and the right, and the center eye, your envision, your mental movie screen, your
dominant smell is like roots and cinnamon clove best. 
Thank you.